Hello, I'm Nam Ji Jung. I'm working for Samsung Electronic. After announcing CASM recession at SDC 2019, I have been here again after two years. In the meantime, CASMD has made a lot of progress and trying to be currently upstreaming to the Linux main line. Today, I would like to talk about what we have been working on and update the current status and plan. First of all, for those who don't know what CASMD is, I am going to start with a short overview of CASMD first. CASMD is a new kernel module which implemented the server side of SME3 protocol. Target is to provide optimized performance and GPL version 2 SME server and better release handling. The bigger goal is to add new future more rapidly, for example, RDMA, which are easier to develop, develop on smaller, more tightly optimized kernel server. CASMD is very optimal for embedded device product and open source project. Especially, CASMD is suitable for target which tend to have a small flash size. Target device of OpenWRT and DDWRT open source project has 8 or 16 megabyte ROM size. So they use very low Samba 3.x version which means supported SM protocol is SM version 1. When replacing it with CASMD, they are saying CASMD showing better performance and lower CPU usage by using SM3. And no need to special handling for cross compile, just select CASMD in menu config of kernel. This is again newly measured performance comparison data between current latest KSMD and late, latest Samba. This is the result of 4K read-write performance between Samba and KSMD measure using IO zone. OPRAC was disabled to remove cache heat performance. Single thread test results show almost 13% performance difference in read-write performance and almost 20 performance difference in multi-thread. Pyropy is a benchmark that measures how many fire operations can be performed per second. In companies of, of Samba and Cassini performance, it showed a difference in performance greater than IO zone. The result of previous page showed the result of testing between Linux client and Linux server. This is the result of performance measurement through Windows client using Crystal Disk Max Benchmark tool. This result also show a performance difference between almost 10% or 20% compared to Samba. From here, I will report CASMD status update. In SDC 2019 presentation, we used the name KCPCD, but we renamed to KSMB. We know that SIPS mean SMB version 1 and vulnerable and old fashion. So module for kernel server is renamed to KSMB KO and the function and structure prefix are changed to KSMD to avoid confusion with the old SIPS protocol. And the K in the KSMD allowed us to distinguish Connors SMB3 server from just based Samba Pi server. And you just based demo name also renamed from UCPD to KSMD mount D. But in case of directory name in kernel source, we made the CPD directory to align with the existing SIPS client directory. We will create SIPS common directory like NFS common directory after upstreaming. And code shared with SIPS will be moved to there. 
From now, I will introduce a new feature added to CASMD since SDC 2019. Currently, SMB using large request response buffer by default. The default maximum read write transfer size of CASMD is 4 megabytes, and Samba seems to be 8 megabytes, which is larger, larger than that. Repeating big allocation and pre of this large buffer for each operation would be big of half. We should use premier lock to allocate the large size buffer in corner, but big allocate lock allocation is expensive and not fast. Especially when there is a lack of available memory, it can be more slower because uh, Vimelo will have to do direct reclaim so of our memory, which also can increase, mem increase memory fragmentation so high order k Melo allocation may fail more frequently. So we introduce a buffer cache pool, so instead of putting pressure from large buffer allocation for every response and release it at the end of request processing, we will cache those large buffer up to number of online CPU for size, size class. It will make fast allocation and avoid potential allocation fail. Samba team commented that CASMD needed ACL and cover support. So we have added them recently. For us to support ACL, it is enough to have CASMD run as standalone server, not domain member. First of all, to create own domain security ID, CASMD mount D generate random sub auth value. And then I know the UID GID will be used as RID in SID. Then CASMD mount D store it into disk for permanent SID after rebooting. And CASMD mount D will use SID from disk on next execution. Currently, CASMD ACA implementation is only the ACA available now. We are aware that SHA support has recently been added to SIPS. We will also start working SHA start SHA support, which is currently supported in SIPS. CASMD needs the translation code between POJIX ACL and anti ACL. Translation of CASMD is wrapped with SIPS code. For example, is generally read and pile read related flag in access mask will be mapped to Unix read permission. Samba encoded anti ACL with NDR format before writing into disk. CASMD also add, add NDR encoded and decode function to compatible with Samba. And new user permission can be stored through window. So we added uh, some remote and RSA RPG protocol support to store Asia for registered other user from window. We have added the Kerberos as well as anti LM button 2 for user authentication. It is not easy to implement the Kerberos authentication in kernel because the library of sense in kernel. There is a user space, user space Kerberos library which is used for several open source projects, libsmb, and sips and NFS. So we have also implemented the Kerberos authentication using Kerberos library in CASMD mount D. CASMD just transmit Kerberos message from client to CASMD mount D. CASMD mount D process token using Kerberos library. The X attribute metadata format stored by Samba was not compatible with CASMD. When user using CASMD changing to Samba, the X attribute method format is not compatible with existing file in CASMD shell. So incorrect, incorrect file information can be used. To prevent this, the comparability 
the compatibility of extra attribute meta information between two servers is required. Stefan and Jeremy request to, to make it compatible with Samba. We decide to make Samba extra attribute to meta format and use those attribute to version three and version four structure and anti-ACL structure defined in Samba source header. SMB311 project extension support only project negotiate context and mode bit in KSMD people. We catch your project extension work from kernel ships client, for example, uh, project quality info, FS project information for stat FS, and project quality DI. And also add WSL repass tag support for special file. KSMD encryption performance can be improved with the hardware acceleration on the kernel. If your CPU support ASNI, it will, it will already be enabled and automatically in small module in your Linux dis distribution. If you are manually build kernel, just enable ASNI mode in kernel. CCM seems to be faster than GCM, but GCM performance with ASNI is more better performance than CCM. So Windows prefer GCM over CCM. GCM inclusion of CASMD is supported with ASNI, and user can use better performance with CASMD on data encryption connection. SMB Direct is a new transport protocol for supporting SMB over RDMA. It is introduced in SMB version 3.0 and implemented in Windows Server 2012. SMB Direct operated over reliable RDMA transport such as Infinite Band, Rocky, iWarp. SMB Direct use RDMA send receive operation for SMB exchange, which is di diode da datagram type send receive. So before SMB exchange, uh, client and server have to negotiate for maximum size of buffer and how many empty buffer they have. The later is managed by credit management and SMB if, and if SMB message is larger than the size of buffer, message have, message have to be segmented into SMB direct message and disassemble. File data is not included in SMB message. A client send SMB request with memory location, which is stored write data or will be stored read data. Server use you RDMA read write operation to transfer data between client memory and server memory. The currently implementation can only connect it to Linux kernel SIPS client. SMB3 multi channel support is required to connect to, to Windows client. So we are working on SMB3 multi channel work on higher priority. KSMD built in test automation. There are several CI, but we chose a Travis CI because uh, it is uh, possible to integrate with GitHub. By using Travis CI, we can automatically test patch in pull request. Test constant of build test and stable test. Travis CI will do build test with the 5.4 kernel and the latest news tree. Then Travis CI run accept test and SME torture test case to check the stability issue in, in the new patch. Test automation let we find bug in the pull request in advance. After resolving them, after pat, the, the patch will be merged into KSMD to keep it as stable as possible. Testing to the Utrebe CI cannot be tested using the latest kernel. Only fixed kernel version provided by Utrebe CI are available. We can test the buildable test managed by Steve French 
with the latest kernel. And we can show public test results through Buildable website. With the latest kernel, we have run more accept tests than have been fixed or supported in the latest code. We have confirmed that accept tests, 120 tests via Buildable are passed in the latest KSMD3. This Buildable test of KSMD is supported by Steve Francis for KSMD upstream. Through this, we have been finding the issue occurring in the latest commit before feeding them to Linux Torvalds. We have posted the KSMD patch series to LKML. We exclude vulnerable SM version one code from KSMD for mainline version and getting a lot of review, review comment and patch from high profile kernel developer. And if there is a big change from review, we replace own SA1 decoder with generally one Linux kernel. We have added the to-do of KSMD and FSD interop in document requested by Amir. He lists up future for KSMD and FSD interop and he said KSMD is a position to do a better job. We only have two iterations out of list, list and, and waiting for getting more review from them. So we are expecting to merge it into Linux 5.14 merge window after getting review for another two months. There are a lot of features that need to be implemented in KSMD. Here is a plan for what to do this year. First of all, we plan to support SMB3 multi-channel future. It is an important future, not only for performance improvement through multi-port NIC, but also for SMB direct through Windows client. After upstream, we can change FS notify function as export symbol function, which is needed for SMB2 notify implementation. In turn, SMB2 leads button 2, and durable handle will be also be planned to implement it this year. There are shared code between SIPs and KSMD. They will move to SIPs common directory, and then so we will add KSMD status option to KSMD control util so that we can show various information of running KSMD server. We believe that more developers will, will, will join the development of KSMD after merging into Linux mainline. It is expected that the development of KSMD will be able to progress past. And I believe that we can create a different solution with the, the present through the collaboration between Samba. Thank you for listening my session. If you have any question, please tell me.